In Brazil, the democracy is strong, but the corruption is vertigo. After being controlled by the biggest corrupted liar in Brazil history, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, and his gang of thugs. Today, Brazil is governed by the Democrat, honest, humble, and brave Jair Bolsonaro. With both his military and technical ministers and the support of his good citizens. The oil company Petrobras was the epicenter of the PT corruption and Lula. Had billions of annual loss during the Lula's government. In 2019, during Bolsonaro's demand, the company had billions of dollars gained because they took out all of the corrupted workers that robbed the company under the order of the corrupted government of Dilma and Lula. In 2019, all the companies achieved the most gain they ever have before because the corrupted were all fired. Bolsonaro and the minister Tarcisio finished the pavement of the highway BR-163 that was abandoned for 44 years by the government of Lula and Piti. This road gave good conditions for the farmers to transport all their food and crops. Millions of kilometers of highways are being constructed or reconstructed by the engineering of the Brazilian army, with low cost to the contributors and taxpayers in Brazil. The construction of the bridge that connects both Brazil and Paraguay is also being completed very quickly, which was also abandoned by the PT. The transposition of the river San Francisco to Ceará was also abandoned by the government of Lula. While Brazil had no money for these constructions, Lula invested millions in dictatorships in Latin America and Africa. Like, for example, the ports of Mariel in Cuba. Brazil gave millions of dollars to the Cuban regime and it was all stolen from the Brazilian people to sustain the evil regime of the family Castro. But luckily to the northern people, Bolsonaro and the minister Tarcisio finished the transposition of the river in one year. Beyond the port of Mariel, Lula robbed the Brazilian people to build the metro of Caracas in Venezuela, the bridge of the river Orinoco in Venezuela, dam in Moamba in Mozambique, the airport in Nacala in Mozambique, the hydroelectric of Tumaring in Nicaragua, The hydroelectric of Lauca in Angola. Highway from Luanda to Kinfangondo. Mm -hmm. Hydroelectric San Francisco in the equator. Hydroelectric Manduriaco in the equator and many other constructions around the world.
Lula was getting briberies by these investments, and what he used to send money to these countries was the National Bank of Disinvolvement. The Bolsonaro government auctioned and is auctioning private enterprises to the constructions of cargo and passenger terminals and remaking all the airports that sucked to give comfort and safety to all their passengers. The party of Lula in the Congress voted against the project of basic sanitation for private enterprises even though half of the houses in Brazil do not have any type of piped water. Bolsonaro is going to finish 33 constructions in the second semester of 2020 that weren't finished for 10 to 40 years. The schools that were vandalized, graffitied, and also used for drugs for students, that were educated by communist teachers, are turning into extremely decent places for students who want to study and have a future career. Civic and military schools are being created to benefit the education and discipline. Because of COVID-19, Bolsonaro is giving emergency money to more than 60 million Brazilian people until December to try and decrease the suffering that disemployment and hunger can give to the people, especially if they are poor and humble. Lula was condemned by law for corruption for buying this apartment, the constructor company is OAS, who was a partner of Lula in public beating fraud of constructions of the government. Lula was also condemned for reforming this cottage in the city of Atibaya where he received bribery from the company Odebrecht, who also was his partner in public bidding frauds. Lula was also accused by ex-minister Antonio Palosi of money laundering and influence peddling in the buying of 36 Gripen fighter planes by Dilma Rousseff. The ex-president Lula had many lawsuits of corruption and money laundering. He was condemned for two but is not yet arrested because in Brazil the laws were made to defend the thieves. But no jail time he does can pay for what he has done to millions of poor people. That he harmed by robbing more than $300 billion from Brazil. With his group of communist thugs that are either arrested or being prosecuted. While all of this, the people are making demonstrations to defend Brazil and Bolsonaro's government from the fake attacks of the communists and the corrupted. In any place of Brazil, the people are ready to defend Bolsonaro's government from its worst enemy, the corruption. Brazil, acima de tudo, Deus, acima de todos.